and we want to live a spring. Loving Father, only in you we live and move and have our being. We thank you for life and all that moves with it. But this evening, Lord, as we come to this Thanksgiving service, may we turn the searchlight within our different lives. Knowing that according to Hebrew 9 27, we all have an appointment. We did start to say none of us here today have the date. But if our name should be called even today, may we so live that it will be well with our soul. Hasten that great day when sin will be no more than cause death, pain, and anguish. We will be able to live and reign with you for him. We look forward for that day, even in this today. And so, Lord, whatever it takes, our homicide, knowing that you are really made the provision that none of us should perish, but all of us should come to repent. May we do the necessary thing of setting our hopes in order. And as we go through this Thanksgiving service evening, we present every listener to you. May something be said here this evening that will cause us to want to go home to spend the ceaseless ages of eternity with you. These we have lives with our sins forgiven. In Jesus' name, let everyone say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated.
and in the words of a true optimist, Mario was indeed a true optimist. There was never a dull moment around Mario. One person recalled that if you told Mario 99 negative, Mario would find 100 positive. It's John the work one woodsman life. What Mario achieved in his short time with us. The Bible says we are given three scores and ten. But by reason of years we are given an additional ten. Mario's was cut short. Basically because of greed and envy, we now kill the very good among us. Who can forget how the Pied Piper called all of us? to a better life of service. Many have done charitable work, but Mario exemplified his good doing. Who can forget Mario stringing a basket with food so the elderly in our community can eat? Or how he took the children along with him. Marian Hopan should be extremely proud of growing such a fantastic man. And I know that what Mario did in this life will echo into eternity. But all of us do not have to mourn him as there is no hope. For whatever good you can do to your neighbors, you would have kept the memory of Mario alive. Mario, before his passing, came to me that Wednesday and the Thursday, he appealed to my community sense to rejoin him in doing more community work. He wanted to repair the Jackson Basic School and he wanted to work with the disabled community. However, that is left to us, those of us who want to remember Mario for the man that he was. He has left a large shoes to fill, and those of us who truly love him can honor him in continuing to do it the altruistic service that he did for us in jungle. As I said, it's jungle works one good man life. There is no time for us not to continue the good work that Mario started. I know that wherever he is, he's saying to us, I'm okay. You know wherever I go, I can turn that place into a superhero home. Continue to do any good that you can do. And in the words of that popular song, if I can help somebody as I travel along, then my living will not be in vain. Mario, may the angels and the water come to carry you. Like Lazarus who once was poor and was taken to the bosom of God himself. May your life continue to shine even now that you have left us. Thank you, thank you very much. It's a book. I am a very good observer. And so it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the leader of the opposition, Honorable Captain.
Good afternoon, Terrence. Good afternoon. Let me first express condolences to the bereaved family, friends, and loved ones. May God continue to guide you all and strengthen you. It's a hard, hard one today for us to sit here to celebrate the life of Mario. But in life, it's not what we ask or we get sometimes. So, family, please be strong. Today's lesson is taken from Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, 15 verses 15 to 58. Now, this I said, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be all changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be rise, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, Death shall we be brought to pass, the same that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sin? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our life, Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the world of the Lord. Thank you, thank you very much, Councilor. I was looking at the name of the program. Apron, as we call it, 
across the community of Trenchtown, Jewelstown, wherever, just taking care of the elderly. That was his daily. When I heard the news that morning that Mario was murdered, I was in a frenzy because I said to myself, what could have caused such a thing to be pitched before the young man? When Marie called me, or when I heard, I reached out to his mother, Marie, and we cried together. We shared a moment of solidarity with her, and indeed, the community enveloped themselves around her to give her support. I must say that I've never met Maria in the flesh. No. But Maria, Maria, his mother, is so involved in my program. And whenever she calls, Maria would be in the background, just echoing as if he was there. So he developed a special place in my heart. And I must say, I would never miss this Thanksgiving service for nothing at all. Mario, from all accounts, as you heard from the earliest people, he said, if you put 99 negative, Marie, Mario Robin had 100 positive. Mario, as I understand it, had a blueprint for his community. What he wants his community to be. What he wants for the youth in and around his community. Mario wants to ensure that the elderly, the shopkins, have something to eat and he will do his endeavor best. I want to say to all of us who are here, don't make Mario's life go in vain. Take a page out of that positive book to give, to nurture, to cherish, and just find it in you to utter kind words. Mario, my friend, my brother, my comrade, may your soul rest in peace and light perpetually shine and your handsome face. God bless you all.
we continue the program and so at this time I'm going to call on Dear God, if I could have one of my times in 2002, I praise God with all my heart for yesterday and you. In life, I love you dearly. In death, I love you still. We will hold the peace in our heart, no one else can fill. We'll find my broken heart and happy memories still. But I know the things that I only want to do. Early in the name, 
Super Mario. Upon his return to Jamaica, he immersed himself in the community development in Arne Gardens, particularly known as Havana. He was very passionate about guiding the youth, encouraging them to strive for greatness and break away from the constraints of inner city life. Mario earned the title of the people's peacemaker and a social worker, as he was always surrounded by children and always advocating for the less fortunate, especially the elderly and the young. In our conversations, private, I would always say, you are so kind. And he would just laugh and say, yes, kindness is one of it. He would give away everything that he has. Um, but tragically, on April 5th, 2024, Mario's life was cruelly taken. While his physical presence is gone, his legacy endures. Legends that Mario never truly died, and stars shine brightness in darkness. As Walt Walter Emerson said, to be a star, you must shine your own light. Follow your path and don't worry about the darkness, for that is when the stars shine brightest. Andre is survived by his six children. Andre Andreas Smith, Andre Dre Wilson Jr., Sukanya Suki Wilson, Nadia Nala Wilson, Aidan Wilson, and Shaila Shai Shai Wilson. He also leaves behind bonus children, Tabby, Chase, and Chanel, and a host of relatives, including brothers, sisters, aunts, nieces, nephews, and cousins. Mario leaves behind many friends from all walks of life across Jamaica, including his community of Arden Gardens and his chosen family from the nightlife scene, his Queens Empire, New York, and Plaza family, Jamaica. Proceeding him in death are his grandparents, Davis, and his granddad, Wilson, I still the Amos, David Allen, as well as his maternal and Jello Harlan and Grand Aunt Lily Thomas, who raised him as if he were their own, and whose contribution in his life made him the person that you know. Though we mourn the loss of Mario, we sort of celebrate the legacy he left behind and the light he brought into each and everyone's life. Sleep in eternal peace and pray. Mario, Super Mario, you are always with us. Thank you.
Dr. Gitai Mons. Okay, on trade, he was uh, Mario, as he was affectionately called, was um, the son. He was a big kind of light. I remember when I looked at him. I remember when I had him. He was the second of um, second child that I had. Son first, right? And when I got pregnant, and then I told his father, you know, he is so happy, can you have a daughter already? But here we know now, you know, um, you say you have a son, you have to give him one of my name. People may never want to tell him name. But I say, you know what? I want to know all my people who are sweet. I teach them how to teach him. So, you know, just thank you. So, I'm going to have a mother and a All right? So, Mario, like I say, as he was affectionately called, was a beacon of light and hope. But, you know, um, you know, even though he was a barren kid, that was one of 
Um, he was about 16. And I remember when I um, was in, in Martin when we were in high school in Queens, the first time that the, um, the it's, it's form teacher, we call it form teacher over there, I'm going to call it there. But um, she gave us her first report. So I said, no way, you couldn't do nothing because no one heard her. So when, we, um, when I went down there, and I had to see the teacher, and I was saying, thank you, because I don't know what, what happened. And I said, no, I wish I had been more students like him. Yeah, you know, so that, that, that the school life, and he immersed himself in sports. The know said, I'm going to like sports, see? This is my idea, and I'll watch golf. Now you know golf, before a tiger woods, I never know what kind of sport. You know who play golf. Thank you. 
started around there. He advocated for betterment of the community. Little person, you see Mario? What do you know? You know, when a woman is a woman for a child, um, he, um, sometimes, Mario come in the house. Mario, oh, let me know what you're Marie. They say, Mommy, why don't you leave them on the ground? And then everybody says, Marie, Marie. When um but anyway, when um when when um the plaza in a the plaza, oh, this is what I'm saying. Mara welcome in the house. Before we reach, they hear me was he speaks very loudly on the man over the phone. Sometimes we should hurry and bring the right now we have So you come now. By the time we reach again, Marie, Marie, if you don't hear my answer, my friends I sit outside, you let go yourself. If you know this Marie, sometimes we are but I know it's for the crossroads. How do the names go to themselves? I know it's for that. So, they must say, no, she's not a crossroads. She's not coming. But, you know, come. Then you say, Marie, I'm um, hungry. So, then you say, Marie, Maria, how old is it? They don't want to be 60 year old, 70 year old, say, you're hungry. You say, all right. Then, um, say, you have to say, yeah, I'm going to have to say, all right. When you're done, call me. And so, I'm going to call you for the decision to kind of change your mind.
Nice. I, what do I say? I bet a little hat to that. And so I, so at this time, we're going to move to the tributes. 